New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson is the former U.N. ambassador and has some unique insights into North Korea and Iran. He joins us exclusively from Santa Fe. Uh, good morning, Governor. Good morning, Harry. I want to start right away with these uh, with Laura Ling and Yuna Lee. There are rumors that you will, in fact, be an envoy to go there and try and win their release. Can you speak of that? Well, look, um, this is this is premature because the North Koreans have to accept the fact that we need to negotiate the humanitarian release of these two remarkable individuals separate from our differences over the North Korean uh, nuclear issue. I'm ready to help any way I can, but uh, you can't proceed in this direction unless right. the North Koreans appear to be in the mood to to start talking right. about their release, and, and it doesn't appear they are so far, it, Eric. It sure doesn't, because North Korea has now said, North Koreans now threatening a fire shower of nuclear retaliation if, in fact, there was some sort of military contact or if the United States helped South Korea. This, this rhetoric only continues to ratchet up. Well, the North Koreans always use this overblown rhetoric at a time when there's tension in the relationship. They're probably going to undertake some new missile shots in the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, the well, relationship talk is this, tense. Talk, talk about firing this missile on the 4th of July toward Hawaii. Well, they'll probably do some kind of a test. And the good news, though, and I know it doesn't appear to be much of that, is that they have not had this overheated rhetoric with the two American journalists. In fact, they allowed the Swedish ambassador mm -hmm. to visit them uh, two days ago, right. the fourth visit. Uh, the good news is that the rhetoric is on the nuclear, on the political side, right. and it's rather muted on the two journalists. Mm -hmm. So the, that gives me hope yeah. that uh, the United States can start negotiating mm -hmm. on that track, right. perhaps after they have this missile test. All right. So what, do, what does the United States do then? Because Kim is a dangerous character. They have nuclear material, they have missiles, they sell weapon systems to whoever will uh, will pay for them. There's a ship apparently that are thought to be carrying some sort of missile system on its way, we think, to Myanmar, being trailed by a U.S. Navy ship. What is the United States to do right now? Well, what the United States has to do is, is and it is doing it well, uh, protect our interests in terms of the nuclear issue, and I think the United Nations sanctions, where you're proceeding to inspect cargo ships, right. but with some kind of uh, some kind of restrictions, uh, continuing the sanctions, but also negotiating separately on the track for the two journalists, keeping our rhetoric muted also on that front. But eventually, I think, Harry, what we need is some nuclear reduction talks with the North Koreans, whether it's done face-to-face -face bilaterally, United States right. straight with North Korea, the six-party talks which the Bush administration right, used right. in the past, the six countries in Asia, mm. doesn't appear to be working. Right. So we're going to have to find a way to negotiate yeah. with them directly again in a tough yeah. way, but at the same time recognizing mm. the importance of getting yeah. these two American journalists you out. to get China involved in this, too. Governor, thank you so much. Do appreciate it, sir. Thank you. All right.